Yo sub boy, of course this is your favorite boy, Rayton Sun, but you can always call me Ray if you wanna save time, yeah? Okay, um, today I just want to give you a very short story of what happened and I will be telling you why you are seeing me with this document right here. It's a photocopy of uh, my mom's permit for burial. Okay, why do I really need to show you this? Uh, those who have followed me over years, they know that uh, my mom's death was one of the most complicated death and uh, this is because the moment she died, we were not allowed or my dad was not allowed to bury my mom from his side. So what really happened? My grandma from my mother's side, they decided that they are going to take the body and my dad decided like if we've not been fighting for your mom while she was alive or your mom never fought for you while well, she was alive, there's no need for us to fight for someone who is dead. Because it will really hurt you more than people expect it to help you. You know what I'm talking about? So, it happened that uh, we never went to the burial. Actually, we never even went to the mortuary. This is the first time I'm reading from this death permit that my mom was in which burial? Which, 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 uh, which? Shalom Hospital. This was the burial, the mortuary where my mom was, Shalom Hospital. This is the first time I'm reading it online. Yes, I received this death permit two days or one week before this video, and I read that it was Shalom Hospital. And the death uh, was occurred in death occurred in 11th April 12, 2012. 11th April 2012. That's when my mom. No, the date of death was 5th. April 2012, then the date which this death permit was issued, it was 11th April 2012, and that is six days later. Um, we never went to the mortuary and we were not allowed to go to the burial. That thing really hurted me so much. So over years, uh, because my mom died when I was 11, later on when I grew up, I was saying like 10 years later, I will come and want to know what really killed my mom. Yeah, I know people say it's an accident, but I really want to know what did the insurance do for that? Okay. Where why where is the where are the pictures that we were the burial happened? You know, there was no evidence that the burial really happened. So I was like 10 years later, I want to know if truly my mom died. Because my mom had divorced with my dad five years earlier before the death of my mom. I remember the, the last time my mom came to Nairobi and told her like I'll bring you maize the moment last time I come back. And I was like, okay, we're glad. You and you want to come up, back, come. Because we knew that my mom and my dad, they are not in the same shoes. They used to fight a lot. And instead of them fighting and giving us uh, traumas and be like, we are not having a happy family, they could better separate. And that's what they did. Then, after some times, after my mom went from Nairobi, actually, I would always find my dad because my dad did what he by that time, yeah. And I could give all my credit to my dad till date because my dad has one has been one of the greatest pillars. You know, even the days that you said celebrating Mother's Day, I'm always celebrating Father's Day because my dad has always has always played both parts, a mom part and a dad part. And apart from my dad being a dad, he has also been a good father. You know, when I talk about father. Um, a dad is someone who has just given birth to you. When the DNA test is done, they, they, they run the same. Like, yeah, it's your dad through DNA evidence. Yeah, it's a natural way of you being a dad. But when you talk about a father, this is someone who really takes care of you in terms of education, like housewives, clothing, food, like everything. He wants to know how are you growing and he really wants to know about your future as well. So I can give my dad all credits about that. Now, um, 10 years later, I decided to follow up and I went to my mom's home where yeah, she was buried. Unfortunately, I did not feel like they gave my mom enough respect for how the grave looked like because our intention was to go build the grave and my, my, my brother had a song for my mom so we wanted to use the real graveyard to, to, to shoot that music video. So we went there, we wanted to, to, to cement that uh, cemetery and we were like, they did not allow us to do it. 
we just say when someone dig some soil then we put on that grave because we found that later they had built a, a place a, a grave called the cow shed on top of that grave then we was like no you, sh you need to take this cow shed on top of this grave that's one of the most disrespectful thing you can ever do and despite apart from this lady being my mother she's your daughter too why do you have to do all this so it was really really painful i'm telling you it was really painful um we were kids i was uh, around because i did not wait for the 10 years to end i was supposed to go there when i'm 21 because my mom died when i was 11 but i went there earlier when i was 19 18 somewhere um because of that reason i stopped believing that my mom had died sincerely speaking i stopped believing that my mom had died um because i never saw the pictures we were never allowed to go to the funeral we were never allowed to go to the mortuary and when we went to visit the graveyard a caution was built on top of it so that was an evidence that now nah, your mom is like this is like a setup your mom is like she was married to somebody else she, she doesn't want to see your dad or she may be faked her death to be to be free to walk around or maybe to, to get married those were the things that were ringing in my head and uh, i was wondering if that thing was really hurting me to that extent that i was a grown man what about my other siblings you know what i'm talking about um i don't want to tell my mom as a deadbeat as mother but i just want to say like i don't really feel like up to that she played her part really well but all in all she went to labor she did what she could for us and she withstood the pain and here i am today telling you this but now the reason that has made me believe that truly my mom died i got the death permit and you know this death permit uh, cannot be faked to be honest uh, serial number it's there permit burial um cap for registration is there form it's d1 and uh, father or husband's name is my dad yes they are name of the deceased it is my mom stella then she died while she was 27. what does that tell you my mom gave birth to me while she was 16. <laughs> because i was 11 when she died and she died when i was when she died when i oh my shit true my mom died when i was 11 and she was 27. So 27 minus 11, that's 16. So my mom gave birth to me while she was 16. Oh, crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. To some extent, I really don't believe that. Because, um, when did my mom study? Got married? Gave birth to me? Unless my mom dropped out of school, I want to know about that. ID number is there, signature. I don't care, really care about signatures because they can be forged. Meru, yeah. Everything is alright in this. Uh, whoever we should do is Paul Kiruki Kiambi. Alright. Um, IP number is not there. This made me believe that yes, my mom died after this is the, I think, 13th year since my mom died and i'm 23 oh my god yeah i'm 23 and it's high time that i accept that uh, my mom died so somebody said when you're able to give a story till the end without crying means you've healed but the fact is we don't heal we just um learn to live with the pain you know what i'm talking about uh, so in, after this video, the next video that I'm uploading after this, it will be talking about how our life went after my mom's death. You know what I'm talking about? Because it was a crazy, crazy life that sounded like a movie. This is what I'm going to show you after this video. After this video. So, see you in the next video. I love you so much. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Peace out.